What's up, guys? I want to give you guys a full breakdown of my song, Drum and Pedal, out now. Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Patreon, Bandcamp, all that good stuff. Let's dive right into the session. So as you can see here, we got the full session. Now I'll play a little bit of the song and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we have the song here. So let's start breaking it down from the beginning. So from the beginning, we have the intro melody. The intro melody, I think, is Serum. Pull that up really quick. I don't think it is Serum. Let's see. This is pattern. What pattern is this? This is pattern one. Let's go all the way down to pattern one. So I think this is like a simple, simple sound. It can't be nothing crazy. And it's literally like, what, three notes? Two notes, actually. We'll bring it down just to this. Very, very simple. And, you know, we got effects in the beginning. Okay. Um, vocal. Vocals. I think it says drum and pedal. I don't, not a hundred percent sure that it says drum and pedal, but you know, it sounded like it. So I was like, you know what? Let's go with that drum and pedal. <laughs> See, so you know, pedal, but it sounds like drum and pedal. If you hear it enough, it says drum and pedal in your head. Um, what else do we got here? We got drums. So something I always say is if you solo your drums and your drums don't sound good, then your drums are not good. So we can solo the drums here. You can hear that. We'll get rid of the vocal. Bring the melody back in. I've come, like I said, many, many times before I come from the hip hop world and I like to like sample drums, layer drums, all that and stuff. So. I took some ballet funk drums, some loops, and I cut out for some like, you know, I wanted that to come like high impact. Some vocal in there. So we get that in there. Um, and then on the build up. And you also have the bass in there. The bass is like, bass is, is basically a bass I had in another track. I don't have the VST for it anymore. So I took the bass, resampled it through a whole bunch of effects. We could look at my effects chain for my bass. Where is it? Uh, what channel is bass on? Bass is on channel five. So this is my effects chain for channel five. We have some saturation. I use Saturn. Um, we have kickstart for the side chain of the actual bass itself. We got a mid side EQ. And we got some frequency shifted just because I wanted to give it that like nice like tone and stuff to it. And then we have our bass on the end of it. Let me solo hear it. So you hear that? Um, and then I bring the melody back in, but I do pitch down the melody for the buildup. And even with that, so if, if we go into my effects chain for the actual synth, let's look at that. So we have an EQ on it just to get out any unwanted frequencies. I use the Chris Lord. So I really, really like the pitch on this, getting that stereo wide effect, a little bit of compression, mess with the treble and the bass on it. Then some color with the Fab Filter Saturn. Decapitator just to dirty it up. Destructor for some more distortion on top of it. Then you have your side chain. Uh, another like subtractive EQ just to take out any more frequencies. And then a limiter. 
So if I go on the main, and I use this for like all my sense now, like I really found like a sweet spot that I like. So I'm going to use this for all my sense moving forward. So it's pretty much my effects chain for my sense. And I'll touch it up depending on what type of sound it is. But this is what I'm running everything through. So if I loop this. And this might need to be a little bit louder. So I don't think I have the, the limiter on. So let's put the limiter on so it's like nice and loud. And this is just like for listening. And this is just for listening purposes. This is not like the master session. If I take everything off, let's hear what it sounds like when everything is taken off. Huge, huge difference in the sound. Listen to that. And now I put everything back on. It's a big difference. All right, so let's go into the first drop. So the first drop is this. So I wanted to give it like that rave sound feel and just more like the bubbling like game bam, 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 like dutchy type of thing and then the second half is when we change it up so this is when i add the second synth in here i want to pull this up so we, we can see what this thing is doing so this is another serum i live by like serum right now like serum is my jam right now and i can show you what this synth is So this is just like a sound that I downloaded that I added some, you know, effects to. I messed around with it, played around with the effects inside Serum and gave it a nice little. And then I add the drums and everything back. So let's kind of break this down. Let's listen to just the drums and see what the drums sound like. So again, I'm big on like chops and stuff. So we got a lot of different chops in here. So I found these little horns and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to chop up these horns and like rearrange the. And that'll lead right into the second melody here. So. So let's just solo out the melody here. And then right there, we're going to go into the second build up. Second build up there, and then you have another. Wrap it right back around. Oh, 
Same thing, and then we just added the Dembo in there. And that's pretty much it. Drum and pedal out everywhere now.